we are making this amazing meatloaf i promise you will never look at minced beef again enough with the minced beef stew this is now what we are going to be doing with ground beef look here for this meatloaf this is what we're going to need here i have one kilo of minced meat or ground beef i have two tablespoons of molasses mixed with brown sugar or just generally brown sugar i have a tablespoon of onion powder or you can chop up an onion that's up to you i have two eggs i have one cup of ketchup i've got four tablespoons of mustard I've got what, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and one and a half cups of breadcrumbs. I also have some salt and two cups of milk and some olive oil. Bass. My oven is preheating at 200 degrees centigrade. So the first thing is I'm going to lightly oil two loaf pans. My recipe is for two meatloafs. If you want to make one meatloaf, you can just half the recipe. But as I always say, if you're going to use your oven, might as well double the recipe because it takes the same amount of energy to make two as it does one. That's done. Set them aside. Now we mix. So into your beef, you're going to put in your breadcrumbs. All right. You're going to put in your chopped onions or your onion powder, up to you, or both. You're going to put in your salt. This is so simple, guys. You will be wondering why you never discovered this before. Okay. I feel like that's enough. And you'll put in your Worcestershire sauce. We're cracking our two eggs. And lastly, our two cups of milk. But don't put in the milk all the way fast. Put a little bit and mix, okay? You know what? Let me use my hands. So you want to be keen to just mix until everything is incorporated, but do not over mix. It's kind of like the same thing with meatballs. Don't over mix. Mix just enough for it to stick. Add some more milk. We don't want it to be too dry. That's good. You guys, it is as simple as that. So now we are going to take this mixture and put it into our two loaf pans. Half in one pan, half in the other pan. Or if yours is bigger, you can just, you know. Avoid the pan altogether. So I'm just flattening the surface. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our glaze. So to mix the glaze, just take your ketchup, put it in a bowl. And you will take your mustard, mix it in. And then put in your brown sugar. All right. And the brown sugar, by the way, is very optional because, you know, ketchup already has its own sugar. It just sort of gives it that extra oomph. 
mix this nicely and then now we are going to spread this over our meat loaves and we are going to bake them in the oven at 200 degrees centigrade for one hour 15 or one hour 20 at least until your meat is well done through and through it's no longer pink okay because my meat loaves are not so deep I could even make do with maybe one hour five minutes but I'll keep checking you guys this glaze is where it's at man So I'm just going to divide it into two, one for here, and one for this smaller one. You can increase, by the way, your glaze if you like. You can never have too much deliciousness. Okay, there we go. So just spreading it out. So that's done and it is so important to make sure that your oven is really well preheated like completely hot so that your meat your meatloaf can cook really well boom It is a moment of truth like have you seen this come take a look take a look at this man and those vegetables are just what it needs if you have to have a side you can have some fantastic mashed potatoes but even this way i think this is this is just ah, the place is smelling so good you guys one thing i will say is um keep checking on your meatloaf don't let it go beyond 30 minutes check on it every 30 minutes or so because mine was this close to burning so yeah just check on it don't just put it in your oven and go off and do your things but now i'm eager to taste this so let's do this let's do this what yep it's very well cooked on the inside it smells delicious oh my gosh this glaze what mm. Mm -hmm. you have to try this oh my goodness what mm. Mm, 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 mm. beautiful beautiful man mm. and the vegetables are still crunchy we just blanch them for like five minutes and then we fry them as you saw in some butter some onion if you have beautiful yeah man that's how we do so check out the mashed potatoes video that I'm going to put right next to this one because the two go well hand in hand. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, please. And let me see you with that mashed potato one, okay? Bye.